Hi guys, it is another hot, sticky summer day here in early May 2018. We have made it to Friday morning, May 11th, 2018. Happy 8th birthday to Humpty Dumpty Tribe. We'll get back to that in a little while. But since it is Friday, I'm going to do what I've been doing every Friday for the past several years and will be continuing to do on the new Humpty Dumpty Tribe as I bring you this week's two-part version of my ecological meltdown roundup rant where I simply open my email box to see how this planet is heading directly into a brick wall at 67,000 miles an hour here in 2018 and uh, as I do always we're going to start out with my number one favorite environmental news roundup of the week from uh, my buddies over there at mongabay.com from uh, brother Rhett Butler and the gang at mongabay.com uh, sharing uh, a bunch of stuff you will not find on the mainstream media. So what's on your mind, Red and the guys? Take it away. All right. I love it. Uh, I love it when they ask a question uh, in a headline and leading off, can India's people's forest also serve as a haven for rhinos? I'm going to let you uh, answer that question for yourself. I'm pretty sure. That well, maybe, uh, maybe the bullshit button survives for another day. That probably whapped the batteries. I don't have a little bitty uh, Phillips head screwdriver which I need, so hopefully I will get the bullshit uh, detector button finished. Uh, but the batteries, I think, are fine. And this button, <clears throat> a forgotten people and traditional Amazon hamlet fights for its territory. Oh, shit, Sherlock. Yes. So, wow. We're looking at uh, the residents of Sao Sebastião uh, going up against intense pressure from the Brazilian government to leave. There you go. Do you think so? Good luck to them. As long as we have the, the No Shit Sherlock button in hand, this is the title of uh, Manga Bay's weekly rant. Pangolins on the brink as Africa-China trafficking persists unabated. There you go. As if we've never heard this, the, uh, this story before on Manga Bay for the 1,000th time in as many weeks, pangolins are the most trafficked mammal in the world with more than a million snatched from the wild in the past decade. Uh, wow, the illegal trade largely goes to China and other East Asian nations where pangolin meat is an expensive delicacy served to flaunt wealth and influence. Pangolin is also a preferred ingredient in traditional medicine. Yes, right. Uh, and we can all take a wild guess where the pangolins are going. Okay, over there to Sumatra, uh, where we look at tigers, orangutans, 
and I don't know of other elephants or not, back to the Lesur ecosystem, uh, where questions linger over the future of the wider ecosystem where planned infrastructure projects remain unaffected by this latest bullshit pledge that they're not going to fuck with the park. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Uh, let's look at the palm oil news of the week. Debate ensues over British supermarket chain's decision to ban palm oil. Uh, this is just the latest uh, part of the, the non-debate about the sustainability of palm oil. Uh, we've been going over this story, this particular story, for the past several weeks. I think we all get it. And finally, uh, a few supermarket chains are catching on. Hmm, never thought of this one. Wow, I, th this is why I'm so glad we have Manga Bay to, uh, to, to suggest ideas that we have never considered, such as this one. Wildlife decimated by the surge in conflicts in the Sahara and the Sahel. Oh, shit, An escalation in the number of violent conflicts across the Sahara and the Sahel regions in Africa is driving down numbers of the new region's wildlife, a new study finds. Huh, as the number of conflicts in Africa, in, in just this area of Africa, has risen by 565% since 2011, 12 species of vertebrates have either gone extinct or are much closer to extinction as a result of rising conflict in the region. Okay. Wow, let's go over to Indonesia. Hmm. Indonesian activists protest Chinese funded dam in orangutan habitat. The Chinese government plans to build a massive hydroelectric power dam in the Batang Toro ecosystem in northern Sumatra. Hmm. There you go. Uh, so now we uh, have orangutan hunters protesting in the streets and writing a letter, writing a letter in which they demanded China withdraw its support for the project due to the massive environmental threats posted by the Endeavor. Yes, I'm sure the uh, Chinese planet eaters are going to pay a lot of attention to that letter. Uh, I think when they're talking about South Georgia in this article, they're not talking about the Okefenokee Swamp. They're talking about the other South Georgia, where uh, we actually have a success story. South Georgia has been dedicated rat-free in the largest ever rodent eradication program. All right. Now, if we could just make South Georgia human-free, we'd actually be doing something. But rat-free is a step in the right direction. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's too complicated to get into. 
Wow. Moving down to Peru, four regions in Peru now exposed to mercury contamination. The number one being the Madre de Dios, the, the mother of God, where I was down there uh, nine years ago. Uh, down there in the Mother of God, among other things, detailing the uh, beginning of mercury poisoning that I was seeing and spelling out that uh, you can, uh, you, you know, with this no shit Sherlock prediction about the mercury poisoning of the Mother of God, and here we are, nine years later, hmm. People living in the regions of Madre de Dios, Juanacavelica, Puno, and Cusco have mercury levels higher than those considered safe. It is estimated that in the last 20 years, more than 3,000 tons of mercury have been dumped into rivers in the Peruvian Amazon in search of uh, in search of gold um, let's see uh, well we, we will see uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on the bullshit detected button till we get an update on this story I'm just playing with it <clears throat> Columbia's Supreme Court orders government to stop Amazon deforestation. <coughs> yes. Uh, Columbia's Supreme Court granted protections that, aff that affirm that grant protections filed by 25 children and other young people that affirm Affirms that deforestation in the Colombian Amazon violates their rights to health and life. There you go. In the ruling, the Supreme Court ordered the president of Colombia and environmental authorities to create an action plan mm, to protect this important nat natural area. Okay, we have an action plan, an action plan being created to save the Colombian Amazon jungle. From We've gone from Peru to Colombia, now and let's go over there to Venezuela, where we see the newest crisis in Venezuela as Caparo Experimental Station invaded by 200 farmers. The Caparo Forest Reserve uh, in Venezuela, created in 1961, covers almost 432,000 acres. Uh, and in that is this biological uh, research station. Yes, but uh, wow. The reserve has been heavily degraded in the past decades as farmers intruded and burned the forest to make way for crops. In January, 200 members of the 777 Christ Ambassadors Cooperative invaded the experimental station. Uh, yes, this is what the Avengers for Christ, uh, yes, talking about threats the invasion of Christians poses to one of the last major tracts of Venezuelan Colombian lowland forest. There you go. Uh, let's see. Wow. Never would have thought of this one either. All I got to do is walk from the shade of my cottonwood tree uh, 10 feet to uh, figure this one out on my own. 
<clears throat> deforestation leads to big hikes in local temperature. Steady finds. Oh shit, Sherlock. Wow. Researchers have discovered a correlation between deforestation, otherwise known as cutting down trees, and local temperature changes in many, in many temperate mid-latitude locations around the world, such as Garfield, Texas. These increases were particularly high in North America. Uh, do you think so? Let's see, moving along from that no shit Sherlock story. Uh, let's see, something about condors in Ecuador. Uh, what's going on over there? How are India's foxes and monkeys reacting to the plague of humans? India's foxes and monkeys are dumpster diving and eating food scraps. Oh shit, Sherlock. Yes. Uh, Jesus. All right. Okay, let's go over there to the Himalayan mountains. Hmm, never thought of this one either. Warmer winters increasing risk of avalanches in the Himalayas. Winters are getting warmer in the Northwest Himalayas, which is increasing the risk of avalanches. Hmm, okay. Uh, let's see. Anyway, I think you can take that to any mountain range on the planet. Uh, and we're going to wind up in the bowels of a dead Javan rhino. What better place? I got a lot. I, I skipped over a lot of this stuff, guys. Uh, okay. Indonesia cites twisted bowel in the death of Javan rhino. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, un unbelievable. He was not gunned down by poachers as initially believed. And we now have a total of, with him dead, we now have 68. 68 uh, Indonesian rhinos left on the planet. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up part one of this. Uh, I would go ahead with this, but I think you might understand why I'm dividing this rant in two when I bring you my birthday roundup rant coming up after part two of my ecological meltdown roundup rant coming up in one minute. I think we all know the bottom line of Manga Bay's rant. Smoke them if you got them, guys. We are so fucked.